Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on if this OKC Thunder experiment will actually work. Now that we've had a few days to digest this Carmelo trade, which I personally think was ironic that OKC traded Cantor while well, he was the one hyping Thunder loyalty so much. Bottom line, it's a business and Carmelo waving his no trade clause for the Thunder at least gives the initial impression that he cares about winning. Thank you for the support on the past couple 2K videos. I'm returning to Topic Tackle now. Could put out a few more 2K tutorials, so leave a thumbs up on this video if you want to see more and leave your feedback in the comments down below. I want to hear your opinions on this topic. It's really crazy to think how things have changed for the Thunder since the end of last season where it was Westbrook as the lone star and everyone else was pretty much average. Now the Thunder have added two All-Stars in Paul George and Carmelo Anthony and easily are the most hyped team coming into the 2017-18 season. Stephen A. Smith, among others, have called them the second best team in the West. That disregards Houston, who improved adding CP3, and San Antonio, who added pieces and still have Kawhi Leonard, the third best player in the league. So my take on this Thunder team, all in for one year and hope for success. And success meaning the NBA Finals, because if not, this team could fall apart. Seriously, Russell Westbrook hasn't signed his five-year $207 million extension. He has until October 16th to do so. And if he doesn't, the Thunder risk losing him in 2019 like they did with Durant to free agency. Paul George has one year remaining on his contract and won't likely re-up with OKC unless they make the NBA Finals. And Carmelo can leave the Thunder in 2019. Plus, his contract is undesirable and the franchise might want to cut down on the luxury tax which means trading him if he allows. So yeah, there's your situation. Do I think the Thunder can make the NBA Finals? Yeah. Look at this tweet I put out on Saturday. There's truth in that, but let's do the comparisons. Andre Roberson is slotted to start as the Thunder's two guard and Steven Adams at center. Adams is the advantage for the Thunder over Pachulia, but the one player that will give OKC the most problems to many of your dislikings is Draymond Green. The Thunder don't have anyone that can match up against Draymond on defense because you know Carmelo won't want to guard him. And on offense, Draymond can bother Melo or Paul George and even switch on to Steven Adams. He can take any of these players out of the game and completely throw off their rhythm. In the end, Golden State will have the home court advantage and most likely win the series in five to seven games. They have a better starting lineup and a deeper bench, and most importantly, they're unselfish and proven winners. Westbrook is ball dominant, and until I see him change, I can't say that he's going to defer more because he didn't with KD, and look how that turned out. And Westbrook just came off a season where he did everything, averaging a 30-point triple-double. Do you honestly think that this guy who's in the middle of his prime is just going to accept averaging 20 to 22 points a game now? That's why KD joined the Warriors, because Steph is the type of guy to sacrifice stats to win a title. I haven't seen Westbrook be that guy ever. He's a 6'3 Kobe. He's not sacrificing stats. Anyway, credit the Thunder for making these moves, but it feels like an all-in situation for this year that totally ignores the future. But hey, regardless of who wins, there will be seven athletes on the floor with their own signature shoes, and that's just insane. The super team era is in full effect. It's like Olympic basketball out there now. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think the Thunder can make the NBA Finals this season, and why? Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below, and we'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out!